Is Microsoft Access still viable in 2025? The simple answer to this question is none other than a big yes. We aim to clarify all doubts and dispel any rumors surrounding Microsoft Access. From Microsoft's perspective, Access has been a success story. Microsoft Access is primarily used for creating desktop applications due to its user-friendly and cost-effective database management capabilities. Microsoft Access has long been the preferred solution for various specific needs within companies. Many businesses have established their entire client databases or CRM systems on this platform, so discontinuing its use would pose a significant challenge. Microsoft has reported having over 300 million active Microsoft 365 users globally. MS Access is included in the Office 365 business and enterprise plans, which means a significant portion of those users potentially have access to and could be using Access, particularly in organizations using Microsoft Office for productivity and collaboration. Companies with over a billion in revenue prefer MS Access due to its user-friendliness and cost-effectiveness. More than 134,000 companies are using MS Access for their business needs. MS Access has a market share of about 8% in the database market. Let's dive into the fascinating journey of MS Access and explore its evolution all the way to 2025. The first launch of Microsoft Access in 1992 had many bugs and performance issues. These were covered in 1993 version 1.1 with Freebies distribution in Office Suite. The first developer's toolkit was launched in 1994. 1995 version was launched with a new look and feel. The real success of Microsoft Access came in 1997 with the standard version. Advanced features of web integration, better security, and database connectivity tools were launched in 1999. The next success of Microsoft Access came in 2007 with the new file format of ACCDB and a new graphical user interface. Better integration with Microsoft SharePoint Server. Here comes the reliable and stable version in 2013 when Microsoft celebrated its 25th anniversary. Version 2016 and 2019 were released with extensive features. 2025 and beyond, Access continues its journey of enhancements with updates through the Office 365 subscription service. Before getting into new upcoming updates of Access for Microsoft 365, let's see some common questions and doubts of many users. Is it worth learning MS Access in 2025? What are the fundamentals of MS Access? What are the common uses of MS Access? How can it benefit businesses? Do companies still utilize Access-based applications? What are the major causes of less relevance of MS Access nowadays? What are the limitations of MS Access? How is MS Access a cost-effective solution? How can MS Access automate the processes of any organization? In this video, we will explore a simpler and smarter way to use MS Access. Please watch until the end, as we will demonstrate the benefits for you. Finally, we will explore the pros and cons of the MS Access database and discuss how to overcome its weaknesses in order to achieve optimal results, similar to those offered by other modern solutions available in the market. As you know, Skill Header provides real-time project-based ultimate and unique solutions. Please join us, subscribe to the channel, and like and share the videos. Let's get started. Many users are already familiar with MS Excel, but Access is not like Excel spreadsheets. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet utility based on worksheets and cells to perform relatively simple calculations and apply formulas for individual projects.
MS Access comes in handy when you need to manage a large and relational dataset. For example, a more efficient database management system than Excel can facilitate relationships between customers, orders, and products. The example you are watching is only a demo. You can make complex data structures automated in Access. I am linking the Excel worksheet to MS Access. All the fields from the Excel sheet are ready to be selected for query. I am selecting some of the desired fields. So multiple queries for datasets can be created and linked to each other in MS Access. An expression builder is used to build complex formulas by combining fields, operators, functions, and constants to perform calculations or manipulate data in queries, forms, and reports without needing to write code manually. To learn MS Access, Click on the I button above to access the playlist of the most unique tutorial playlist. Furthermore, try the easiest and most innovative solution to create your own login system. Links are also given in the description. Now the query results can be exported into different formats. So. Every individual who is dealing with the data must know how to use MS Access for efficiency. People can manage their businesses with MS Access. The fundamentals of MS Access involve understanding its key components and how they work together to manage data in a relational database. Here are the main concepts and tools you need to know. Tables are where data is stored in a database. Each table contains rows, records, and columns, fields. A table consists of fields. Each field holds a specific type of data, for example, text, number, date. Each row represents a single record. A primary key is a field or combination of fields that uniquely identifies each record in the table. Queries are used to retrieve, update, or delete data from tables. They can be simple or complex depending on the data you want to work with. There are different types of queries for different purposes available in Access. Forms are used to create user-friendly interfaces for entering, editing, and viewing data. Forms can be customized with buttons, fields, and layouts to make data entry easy for users who don't want to interact directly with tables. Reports are used to format and print data in a structured way. They are typically used for presenting data to users or stakeholders. Reports can be created using various layout options and can include summaries, charts, and calculated fields. Relationships link tables together based on common fields. This is what makes MS Access a relational database. There are different types of relationships that can be made in Access. Indexes are used to speed up the retrieval of data from a table. They are created on fields that are frequently searched or sorted. When a primary key is set, 
Access automatically creates an index on that field. Macros in MS Access are used to automate tasks. They can be set to run when a form is opened, a button is clicked, or based on other events. Automating repetitive actions like opening a report, running a query, or applying filters. VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. VBA is a programming language that allows for deeper customization and automation in MS Access beyond macros. With VBA, you can write custom code to perform tasks that are too complex for standard queries or macros. An example of the workflow in MS Access is to create tables, define relationships, build queries, design forms, and generate reports. One of the major uses of MS Access can be in small or medium business management. We are in the middle of creating an innovative project related to business financial accounting. You can click on the I button above to access the playlist of the project. Customer relationship, inventory management, budget and expense management and task management are some of the uses. You can learn or download the projects from our channel. Microsoft Access is less relevant than other database management systems due to some limitations. Microsoft Access has a file size limit for its databases, which is 2 gigabytes. This means that the total size of an Access database cannot exceed 2 gigabytes, including all the data and objects. Thanks to Microsoft 365 with increased file size capabilities for Access databases form 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes. Microsoft Access has limited capabilities for handling multiple users at the same time. This limitation makes it unsuitable for organizations that require extensive user interaction or high data throughput organizations. Here comes the SQL Server backend integration. It can handle much larger datasets and complex queries, providing a robust, secure, and efficient storage solution. MS Access databases are stored locally which means they can't be accessed over the internet. This limits real-time data sharing, remote access, and collaboration, which are important in today's connected world. But with the SQL Server backend tables integration, access can be used online without any storage limit. How to use MS Access with SQL Server? You can click on the I button above to access the video tutorial. The integration of MS Access with other Microsoft Office applications will make Access relevant in today's business environment in 2025. How can you use simple MS Access applications to store your data and let Access calculate and analyze your data for you? To improve manual entry work or automate simple Excel worksheet entries using an MS Access database, we will continue to create simple real-time applications for your business processes from the next exciting video. Whether you are a job holder and already working with data in MS Excel or any other worksheets, get ready to provide your data, create queries, and get your final data into any desired format, including XML and PDF. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and comment. See you in the first MS Access application.